So, so we're here tonight for another one of our walks in the neighborhoods that we do every month. Um, the 5th District here, the St. Rock area, with us today is Councilmember Gerard, from, uh, Gerard Brissett from Councilmember District D. Um, you know, this is an important time for us. There's been some upticks and some crimes in this part of town, and it's important for the community to see that the police officers are working very closely with them. It's important to remind people that we communicate to our community through a lot of different means. You know, just in the last few years, we've had over 3,900 meetings with the community with more than 88,000 people in attendance. We have Facebook pages in every district. We've done more than 3,900 emails, if you can believe it, with media outlets just in the last 18 months. So getting the message out is important to us, and I think we're trying to do better every day. You know, I've paid real close attention to the work that the 5th District is doing on these two, two most recent events where people were attacked, I think, very, very shamelessly by some juveniles. I'm confident that Commander Goodley and his team are making headway. In one case, pretty significant headway. In the other case, I think we're just going to keep looking and maybe we might find uh, a little more information to help us. In the four murders that have happened just in the last few days, it's the story that we've talked about with Dola for Life. It's the story we've talked about with our community. In this last few days, you have four murder events with five people killed. Three of the events, straight up, has to do with narcotics and guns. Narcotics and guns. Narcotics and guns. And one of them was two men who had gotten in dispute over a girlfriend. I mean, these are the kind of crimes that are preventable in our community when young men lay the weapons down and they decide they're trying to kill one another over disruptions involving girlfriends, if you will, and narcotics has got to stop. The other thing that we see in these cases is the continuation of young men who are in and out of the criminal justice system. One of the men who expired, unfortunately, was under a probation till 2015 for carrying guns illegally. I mean, that's just the question we have to confront as a community. What are we going to do to find alternatives to violence, alternatives to mediation, alternatives to drugs and guns? I and mean, that's really what's going on.